So yeah, I think it was announced the other week now that you're fighting Steve Amable in yeah. November. When you were offered that matchup, was it one you were expecting or what I, I was your reaction? Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. So they'd offered, well, they hadn't even offered, they were sort of talking about another fight in Manchester that didn't really like, it wouldn't have put me further up the division really. And um, and I wanted like as soon as possible so there's a, there's a chance if I fight early November I can do the New Year's Eve one. And I was just like, Steve Amable is the only guy other than Vucenic ranked above me in topology. So I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, I'll, I'll have that one. Um, so I just asked for that and I wanted it in November, like the November 4th one in London. Cause like, even though it's only a week, I, I want to be able to fight November 4th and then December 31st and then that December 31st one hopefully for the belt so, so yeah that's, that's my plan so uh, the final one this year it, in your head is, is for the belt do you think yeah yeah and that's why you're so keen to fight twice more this year yeah yeah, yeah. like um, if it wasn't I, I don't know I, I like fighting I was about to say if it wasn't for the belt then I wouldn't this Christmas but like I would I like fighting um, but yeah I, like that's that's my plan I, I like obviously I think I would deserve the winner of Vichenic Hughes but I, I genuinely like like looking at the way that the game is I, I don't think either of the people who win that are staying around you know what I mean I think they'd end up mo moving on so I, I'm like ideal situation perfect world I'm hoping Pasquale fucks up whoever he's fighting in, in Italy and then we can get like a five round rematch box like that that would that's my dream I want I want that rematch and quite obviously I want it to be five rounds for the vacant title for a vacant title that's that's my dream I know it's MMA you can't plan things it won't pan out like that I'll probably end up fighting fucking I don't know Francis Ngannou for some non vacant <laughs> I don't know like MMA is just weird or you could end up fighting in some fucking random gym in Croatia for no money but um, but yeah like that that's my ideal situation it, it, you can't like fucking get caught up on that like whatever happens happens but that's that's what I want Aimable's on a bit of a win streak at the minute what do you, what do you reckon to his record uh, yeah so four wins on the bounce do you know what he's actually been a bit more impressive in his uh, this sounds daft in some of his losses really like um, the current win streak's not against great opposition like Merns was on that ridiculous skid and had like loads of other stuff going on and blah 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 um, who was the next one? Walls. Walls is a bantamweight and Walls chinned him. Uh, I'm trying to think. Then there was that Italian guy who was crap. Like, mm. Before the Italians got good all of a sudden and went fucking undefeated in Cage Warriors in 2022. In 2021, they weren't that great. Um, and then the last one was Petley, who is probably the only man in the featherweight division older than Aimable. <laughs> so, like, it's. It's not the best win streak, but it, it's consistent. Like, that is the thing with Aimable. He always shows up, he's always tough. He's got this very, like, good set of skills that are just, like, they don't, like, he doesn't get improve a lot, but he doesn't get worse a lot either. Like, some fighters, they, they try and work something, and they, they try and add all these new tools, and it makes them worse. Whereas Aimable just stays consistent with the same fundamentals that he just had forever. And it does all right for him. Is there any new tools you're trying to add for this fight? Um, not getting dropped. <laughs> not giving everyone who, who loves me who watched that fight a heart attack. Uh, <laughs> not testing your opponent's jab. Not, te not testing my opponent's jab, not giving it a good old, good old headbutt. Um, yeah, yeah just, just being a bit less hittable, I think. That, that would be nice. Yeah. Right, you only get one brain, and I mean, man's fucked already, but you know. Yeah. Before this little streak Aimable was on, I think he'd lost three on the bounce, I think. Obviously, that was to the current champion. Yeah, but so do you think he's changed anything that's led to this current win streak? His punches have got a bit straighter. Like, like I'm not trying to be reductionist or, or like rude or blunt about it, but like... It, the, just the, the competition drops drastically like you know what I mean like he fought Mads Bunnell Mint a one handed Vucenic um, and got beat up and then Perry or was was it Perry before Vucenic one of the two and then like you know Perry Perry did well it was a close fight but the, the judges were sort of like more going towards the, the modern scoring criteria so didn't really score his takedowns as much 
Um, but yeah, like he's just consistent. He just always shows up. Like that, that is a dangerous thing in itself. Like um, he is. He just keeps trucking along mm. with his same terrible shots. Getting closer to the member. What sort of stuff are you going to be working on as you're getting closer to the fight? Uh, some good shit. Just like no, just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it all away now. But like. There is definitely some stuff we've seen that we're going to work, um, and just like keeping consistent, keeping a good, good volume of training in. Um, I think we're going to train with Vichenik in two weeks. I need to message him um, just because, like, my girlfriend lives like way down south, and it's quite. We're actually good friends with Vichenik, so just like I'm going to tie in going to see her with getting some rounds in with Vichenik. So I, I like genuinely I do hope Vichenik wins. Like I think I think he has been a bit a bit hard done by. Um, but you know, Paul Hughes is the biggest fan of the Hardwick brothers out there, so it's all it's all good that man event. Yeah.